cookie mix. We're going to put it in a box, wrap it up, put some ribbon on it. Everyone's getting a gingerbread man cookie cut out, okay? I just want to let you know how you clean these cookie cutouts. When you have metal cookie cutouts, it's important that after you clean it, that you throw it in your oven for a couple of minutes and let it dry. If you let it air dry, there's a good chance it could rust, okay? So that's your key with your metal cookie cutouts, right? So you're going to tie a ribbon and you're going to tie this to it, and you're also going to be tying um, the rest of the recipe. Now we are making half of the recipe, so you need to cut these ingredients in half. If you're making this at home, you can just double the recipe that I'm going to give you to take home with you. All right? But if you're giving it as a gift, you might want to rewrite this at home. Okay? Um, or I have some cards here today if you want to rewrite them here today. Um, but uh, well, he's young, I don't know how well that would work out. And if you need to know, um, it's three-fourths cup of molasses. You cannot substitute that. You need to use molasses. If you're going to cut it in half, it'll be one-fourth and two tablespoons. Okay? Just so you know. Also, it requires one slight beaded beat egg. You don't have to split the egg in half. You can use the whole egg. It's just going to make your cookies more moist. Okay? That's the only thing it'll do to your cookies. Make them a little bit softer. All right? Everyone loves soft cookies. So what we did last class is we divided it. This class is probably going to go pretty quick because it's a small class. Um, we divided it, half the class um, prepared their tag, they cut it out, they got their um, hole punched in it, and then while the other class is filling up their ingredients. So we'll do that again. Just So what I'm going to do is I'll hand out these, and I have these rigid scissors if the kids want to cut them, okay? So they can kind of, they are a little tight though, but you can probably cut off gingerbread cookies if you want, I don't know. But you can reshape these as well. So also we have wrapping paper, it's all pre-cut. I have been doing so many classes that I guess my boxes got a little mixed up, so I see a couple of big boxes in the front. If this paper for some reason doesn't fit it, I did bring the rolls with me, okay? Um, the paper's not the neatest, the last class kind of had some of them crumpled up, we could throw those out. And uh, I had my kids help cut it. <laughs> I get them to work too. So um, if, for, if for any reason you need a new sheet, I do have some extra wrapping paper, okay? But I try pre-cutting it to make it easier for you guys. Um, this batch came up here. There's also scissors and ribbon as well. I'm leaving the recipe up here for the cookies in the box. So after you wrap it, be sure to take the recipe as well, okay? It's probably going to go pretty quick. So you guys can hurry home and get your groceries before school. All right, so I like to start with the back of the room, so we're going to start with the boys in the back. You guys can come up first. Come on up. Ready? This is what we're doing, boys. Open your bag. You're going to do, come up behind him over here. You're going to do four scoops. Okay. So we're cutting this recipe in half, like I said. Yes. If you wanted to re-add. Um, in the recipe, it calls for cloves. We're having a hard time finding cloves, so we're going to double up on the uh, allspice. If you have cloves at home and you want to double the recipe, just don't put the allspice in, just put a teaspoon of cloves in. All right? Good job. Okay. And you're going to look at it and do one of each. Okay? All right, next. Who's next? One, up, one two, three, four, five. Four, make sure you fill up your scoop, okay, buddy? <laughs> Now you're going to do 
I don't see four in there. But you don't have enough flour in your bag, by the way. Thank you. 